Hello. Today I was watching YouTube videos. And at a certain moment I thought, Hey Kai, what are you doing here? And then I realized I was spending time. There's nothing bad about watching YouTube videos. Actually, it's a matter of what you want to do. But uh, you can also ask yourself, what's the benefit of it? If you are watching an introduction video, a video where you maybe can learn how to repair your washing machine or how to set up um, a panel curtain, then it might be quite useful. And there are other videos that are more of political nature and some videos that are just nice to watch. Well then, then you are killing your time. I don't know about you, but I think my time is precious and I like my time. So why would I kill my time? I mean, this sounds really very destructive, killing your time. Okay, I'm just kidding. I know every one of us uses some of his or her time to do recreational things. Things that might not be totally rational. And that's totally okay, because we need that. Our brain needs kind of a pause. But there's one thing about our brain. If you are watching something like a YouTube video or streaming something on Netflix, the function is different. If you compare it to creating things yourself, like um, problem solving, writing, drawing, painting, making music, all that stuff is when you play your brain. And if you watch YouTube videos, watch Netflix, your brain gets played. The question is, what's the benefit? We know the benefit of killing time is there is no time left. The benefit of creating something, first of all, you have an accomplishment. And then there are two different kinds of possible results and both are related to stress. There is a positive stress that's called oystress, that is when you really enjoy what you're doing, when you're in your flow state and you are really fulfilled. And there's that other state that is distress, that means that the time is really running out and you have to do the things and you feel a little bit anxious, you panic maybe, you are nervous. This is distress and it really destroys yourself. It depletes your energies. Oysters means fun. Oysters means you are growing. I am recording this video. But actually, I'm not giving advice here. So the question that you have to answer yourself is, what do you think about this? How, how do you feel when your brain gets played? When you watch a Netflix series after that, how do you feel? When you watched a couple of YouTube videos. How do you feel after that? And how do you feel when you created something new, when you've written a new text, when you made a nice drawing or you, you played a piece of music on a, on a piano? I don't know what, what your kind of music is. Or if you are playing, uh, if you are playing an instrument. But the question is, how do you feel after that? I can tell you, in all those cases, I feel really good. I feel proud of myself. But 
when I watch YouTube videos, it's not like that I say, wow, what did I do here? Great! No, it's, mo it's mostly like, okay, all my time is spent and there's nothing left. Now, what do I feel? I feel depleted. I feel empty. Instead, if I created something, I feel fulfilled. But that's me. So the question is, how do you feel? And what's your decision you want to make if you analyze this? Because I'm not giving you any advice here. Because I don't know what's good for you. I know what's good for me, but I don't know what's good for you. That is something that you must know. There's one last small thought I would like to share with you. In the word recreation, the core is creation. If you want to do something recreational, create something. See you tomorrow.